Hi everyone, good morning. Myself Saujanya. I am working as a dietitian at Nimhans. Today I am going to talk about nutrition in pregnancy and lactation. Pregnancy is a demanding physiological state. Nutrition requirements increases tremendously during pregnancy and lactation as pregnant woman not only has to nourish herself but also growing fetus. Some changes occurs in mother's body which influences the need of nutri nutrients. The major changes are increases in basal metabolic rate or BMR. Fetal growth and development increases BMR by 5% during second trimester of pregnancy and 12% by third trimester of pregnancy. This increases the total energy requirement. In the second one, gastrointestinal changes. During pregnancy, uh, some of the gastrointestinal changes will happen like nausea, vomiting and constipation and in later trimester of pregnancy, nutrients absorption will increases like vitamin B12, iron, calcium which also increase the need of total requirement of nutrients for both mother and fetus. Third one is changes in body fluid. Mother blood volume will increase to carry appropriate amount of uh, nutrients to the fetus and carry all the metabolic wastes away from the fetus. During this time, uh, plasma volume will be increased along with the sum of the blood constituent will be lowered like as hemoglobin. So, mother has to nurture the fetus. So, health of the newborn uh, solely depends on, depends on mother's nutrition during conception and prior conception. So, well-nourished women enters a period of pregnancy with reserves of nutrients that meet the need of growing fetus without affecting her own health. During pregnancy, the nutrient needs increases to develop maternal organs such as placenta, uterus and breast tissues. During first trimester, there is no significant increases in the size of the fetus. Thus, only qualitative improvement of nutrient is needed. That is, extra 150 kilocalories of energy is required during the first trimester of pregnancy. During second and third trimester of pregnancy, most of all the nutrients is required. So, mother has to take additional 300 to 350 kilocalories per day is required. So, mother has to focus on all kinds of food groups during this, this time. During second and third trimester of pregnancy, increases needs of almost all kinds of nutrients. So, mother has to take additional 300 to 350 kilocalories per day. Hence, mother has to focus on good quality as well as quantity of food she is taking. Protein. During pregnancy, additional uh, requirement of protein is required for formation of uh, blood volume, uh, development of placenta and uh, formation of amniotic fluid. So, during second trimester of pregnancy, extra 7.6 grams of protein is required and during third trimester of pregnancy, extra 17.6 gram of protein is required. So, mother has to focus on good quality of proteins like fish, poultry, chicken and in plant based proteins such as pulses, legumes and milk or milk products. Fat. As per ICMR, RDO fat is 30 grams per day that is visible fat. So, it will be around 6 teaspoons per day. So, mother has to concentrate more of unsaturated fatty acids such as canola, olive oil, sunflower oil or any refined oils and uh, less of saturated fats such as butter, ghee, vanaspati or any processed foods. Omega-3 fatty acids plays a major role during pregnancy as it helps in brain development and prevent premature birth and it also helps in visual development and uh, reduce the risk of heart diseases. After macronutrients, minerals and vitamins also plays a major role in minerals such as calcium, zinc, iron, folic acid, iodine which plays a major role. As per ICMR, RD of calcium is 800 mg per day. Calcium helps in growth and development of fetal bone and teeth and it also prevents preeclampsia or hypertension in mother. If intake of calcium during pregnancy is inadequate, calcium will be leached from mother's bone to meet the fetal requirement. So, it may cause mother's bone weak and may lead easy fractures. So, mother has to take a good amount of calcium rich diet in her daily diet. So, she can include up to 500 ml of milk or milk products or amaranth or ragi in her, in her daily diet because it contains, it is rich in calcium. Next is iron. As per ICMR, RD of iron is 40 milligrams. Iron is helps in a formation of red bl blood cells or erythropoiesis and it also comp compensates the blood loss during delivery. Next one, folate or folic acid. RDO folic acid is 570 micrograms. During uh, pregnancy, maternal blood formation increases, thus folic acid also increases. It, hel it helps in preventing neural tube defects such as spina bifida or meningocele and also improves the birth rate of an infant. 
Next zinc, RDA of zinc is 14.5 mg. Zinc is required for synthesis of nucleic acids such as RNA and DNA it, and it also helps in uh, improving birth weight and prevents abnormal delivery. Next iodine, RDA of iodine is 250 micrograms. Lack of iodine causes stillbirth, birth defects and decreases the fetal brain development. After minerals, vitamins, vitamins also plays a major role during pregnancy as well as lactation. Vitamin A, vitamin A is required in uh, minor quantity, RDA of vitamin A is 900 micrograms. Vitamin A is required for uh, good vision, so lack of vitamin may uh, cause blindness or uh, some infections. Vitamin A, RDA of vitamin A is 900 micrograms, it helps from blindness and infections. Next, vitamin D, RDA of vitamin D is 600 international national units it helps uh, it helps in strength, strengthen and make stronger bones of fetus Vitam vitamin b also is required during pregnancy it helps in overall fetal development vitamin k vitamin k is required for normal coagulation of blood and it prevents infant hemorrhages and some of the things to be avoided during pregnancy first one is caffeine too much of caffeine intake is not allowed during pregnancy as it may cause miscarriages and the second one is smoking and alcohol smoking and alcohol should be avoided as alcohol may cause fetal alcohol syndrome some of the dietary guidelines are to meet all these nu nutrient requirements mother has to follow a proper balanced diet she should increase her feeding so mother can take five to six meals during a day and she can incorporate two to three mid meals or snacks to meet all these requirements and mother should increase her fluid intake two to three liters per day and for good amount of iron she should consume green leafy vegetables dry fruits or nuts and uh, to increase the iron absorption she can include citrus fruits or vitamin c rich foods such as guava cabbage capsicum and she can use lime juice also to meet protein requirement, mother should use at least 2 to 3 servings of meat or pulse or legumes per day. Nutrient rich foods, especially iron, folic acid, calcium and omega 3 fatty acids foods should be included in her daily diet. And now it's nutrition about lactation. Child should be breastfed within an hour of birth. Child should be exclusively breastfed till it gets 6 months old and before 6 months honey, sugar, or water things should be avoided after six months complementary feed should be started mother has to concentrate on her diet as infant derives all its nutrition from mother's milk so mother needs an extra calories as well as protein during this time any inadequacy in mother's diet may affect the both quality as well as quantity of the milk so mother has to eat a healthy well balanced diet so requirement of energy during lactation is extra 600 kilocalorie per day is required for first six months and next 520 kilocalories per day is required for the next six months and protein is 13.6 grams per day is required for the first six months and 10.6 grams of protein is required for the next six months micronutrients also plays a major role during this time and calcium requirement is high compared to pregnancy so that is thousand milligrams per day as calcium has to retain in breast milk so mother has to include calcium rich foods in her daily diet fluid intake should be increased as mother is producing the adequate amount of milk for for her baby and there is no restrictions in food for mothers during this time except highly flavored or strongly spiced food as it impart the flavor to milk which may be repulsive to the baby so include all kinds of food groups during lactation include five to six meals per day and include two to three snacks in between and drink two to three liters of water per day and be physically active thank you